Hello everyone, this is Angie from the Honeysuckle Haven. Welcome to Craft Around the Clock and the Honeysuckle Haven. If when you're hopping on tonight, let me know that you're out there by putting a comment down below um, and let me know where you're watching from. If you're new to either page, let me know that. And if you're watching on replay, I'd like to know that too. So I will get some comments going here and we will get started. Hope everyone is having a good what is today? Wednesday, a good Wednesday. We ended up getting some ice and got out of school early today, so it was nice. Got to come home early. There we go. See some people hopping on. Hi, Lisa and Nancy. Lisa, your happy mail went out today. It was supposed to go out yesterday, um, but my husband was busy, and so he didn't get to mail it, so it went out today. So you should be getting it in the next couple days. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Hopefully, internet is good tonight. Hi, Miss Tracy. Oh, and my brother and Chloe's out there. Okay, we're going to do a repurposed um, craft tonight. Now, I've made this before. So, um, if you've been with me for a little while, you um, have seen this possibly. But sometimes, if you're like me, you forget. You see something and then you need a reminder. So, maybe you forgot about this one. But then I have lots of new crafting friends that I thought might like to see it as well. And then I have kind of a little bit of a surprise um, since the last time I made it. So anyways, we are using a um, apple juice bottle tonight. And this is Martinelli's apple juice. Really good apple juice. These little bitty bottles I got at Dollar General. But I have found them at Walmart too. So... And it's 100% apple juice. It does not have anything else in it. No preservatives, no sugar, nothing. And it is amazing. So it's a little pricey, but it's definitely worth it because it's delicious. <laughs> so that's a win-win bonus. You get to drink the apple juice, and then you can craft with the pretty bottle. Now, when I saw these bottles the first time, I'm going to hold it up where you can see it. There's a pretty leaf pattern. Can you see that leaf pattern at the top of the bottle? When I saw that, I knew I had to repurpose this because I thought that design on there was really pretty and we could do something with it. So we're going to use that tonight, an apple juice bottle. We're going to use some jute ribbon that I ordered from Amazon. It came in a bag of different ones. So we're going to use that. We're using some Waverly chalk paint, plaster, cream color, and some jute rope. So let's get started. I'll say hi as I see comments and answer questions as we go along. So the first thing I did is I got the sticker off. I peeled the sticker off and then just used some um, Dawn dish soap and a little scrub pad, a little scrubbing pad, and got all the sticky off and washed the bottle. So now I have a bottle without a sticker on it, and we are going to paint it with the chalk paint. Hi, Colette from Canada, and Dee is out there, and Marlene. Thanks for joining, ladies. Okay, so I'm taking my Waverly chalk paint, and this is the off-white, the cream plaster is what they call it. We're going to use that. Now, when you're painting with chalk paint on glass, especially, it's best to do thin coats. So you do a thin coat, let it dry. Do another thin coat. If you try to do too much, it's going to cake up on you. So you want to do real thin coats. I'm going to use the heat gun tonight to speed up the process, but it's best if you can put a coat on, let it air dry, then do another coat. But we don't have time for that tonight, so I'm going to use the heat gun. But the thinner the coat, the better on this glass. Hi, Donna and Carolyn. Try to look, glance over and see some comments here and there. I got some crafts this week. I'm so excited. Some people remade the French country tote, the handled tote that I made the other day, the challenge. Let's get these sleeves out of the way. It was cold today. <laughs> we had ice and snow. Um, but yes, I got a bunch of crafts that people had made. It was exciting. What else? I got some other stuff that they had made that I had shown you guys. I love it. It makes my day. And 
some of the things I saw, I love it better than mine. <laughs> there was one of those French country totes that was gorgeous. Actually, both. I mean, I think I saw three of them. They were all gorgeous. They turned out better than the one I showed you. Okay, so now I'm just putting a thin coat all the way around, just like that. Now I'm going to go up here around these leaves. Now I painted, I, I'm one ahead of time, so you will not have to watch me paint more than one. But I wanted to show you the before, what it started as, because we we're repurposing. I love when you can repurpose something and it turns into something beautiful for your home. Like I said, it's a win-win. My kids love the apple juice, especially my son. So when I bring this apple juice home, he loves it. And then I can use the jar. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I missed it. I'm going to have to go back. I missed that comment. Okay, I'm getting up here around the top. Now, I could see, I see some spots that I need to get, but I don't want to cause it to cake up. So I'm going to dry it and then put another coat on it. So we're going to use some heat, the heat on it, heat gun. Um, Sheila, the drop cloth strips for the bunny, they are about an inch and a half. You could do a two inch, but inch and a half, yeah, inch, inch and a half, I would say. And the frame was a 12 by 12. Okay, so it dries really fast. Hopefully I'm not yelling. The microphone is right under my chin, so if I'm really loud, please let me know. <laughs> Especially with that on, uh, that was really loud. Jackie, are you a teacher? I am a teacher. I teach first grade. I taught third grade for years. Um, last year I went to first grade, and I love it. I love that age. I liked third grade too, but First grade was a nice change. It's always nice to switch it up a little bit so you don't just get stuck in a rut. Okay, so now I'm putting another thin coat on here. And you can use any color chalk paint. You could probably even spray paint it, but I'm not sure. We're going to be sanding on this a little bit. So I haven't tested it with spray paint to see how well it sands off, if it gums up or I'm not sure. I've only tested this with chalk paint, so that's the only one I know from experience. Does your microphone attach to your phone? Yes, Dee, it does. It's actually cord. It has a cord. Um, I want, my husband bought me a cordless one, a wireless yeah, wireless, <laughs> um, but I could not get it to work, so I still need to work on that. So I don't have to have this wire attached to me. Okay. Now let's get up here around the top again. And if you're doing this at home, you'll be able to take your time and Paint it really, really nice and smooth and neat. And the chalk paint's pretty forgiving. As it dries, it um, smooths out even more. How do you sprinkle? Donna, sprinkle means to uh, S-H-A-R-E. They don't like us to say it. Um, but if you sprinkle the video to your page to for other people that you think might like this craft. That's what it means. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Okay. Yes, thank you for sprinkling. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, there's my friend Amy out there. She got out early today, too. All right, so I have two thin coats. Now let me get, ooh, the light is washing it out. Get up here where you can see it. So I still need one more coat on there. But we are gonna make those little leaves pop out here in just a minute. 
there is a reason why we're painting it. So you can see, because when it's not painted, it, they're hard to see. You can't hardly see those leaves on there. And we're going to make them stand out. Okay, now I'm just going to put one more thin coat on here. You guys get the idea. And then wait to see the other one that I found. This is what, I found one at Walmart and I had forgotten about this craft that I did. When I found this bottle at Walmart, I got really excited. So just wait till you see it. Because I've only crafted with these. Thank you for sprinkling, Teresa. Hi, Rosie. Okay. Let's see. Get around here. Now I'm not worrying too much about this because we're going to wrap some jute rope around the top of the bottle. So I don't have to worry about that getting completely covered. Okay, I think we're good. Let's just set that side aside for a minute. Heat gun one last time. What kind of bottle? It is Martinelli's apple juice. I'll hold that up there for a second if you want to screenshot it on your phone. Ooh, I probably yelled right in the microphone. I am so sorry. <laughs> if you want to screenshot it, uh, go right ahead. And then you have it. Okay, so now we have, oops, I see a little spot down here that I missed. Rolling it around as I was painting, kind of rubbed it off. When I have that heat gun on, if I yell, just turn the volume down. <laughs> okay. There we go. Ooh, it's the light. I have to get up there past that light because it washes it out. Okay. Now, very pretty, bo oh, pretty bottle. You're welcome, Diane. <laughs> Touch that up. Let's just hit that real quick. Cold and windy. Ah, oh, here too. I am over it. <laughs> I am ready for spring. Okay, now this is where the magic happens. We are going to take a piece of really coarse sandpaper and we are going to rub off or sand off just the leaves. So where those leaves are at, I'm going to take the sandpaper and I'm not going to push really hard. I just want to get it raised like the veins of the leaf are raised and the edges of the leaf. So I'm going to rub it with the sandpaper and then I'll show you what that looks like. And I'm using a little piece, that way I can control it more. I uh, used the sanding block and you can't control where you're sanding as much because it's a bigger area of sandpaper. So if you use a little piece, it's easier. And then you just sand off can you see that? See that leaf popping out of there? Oh, these are so cute. And if you drink apple juice, then it's a win-win. You get a vase out of it. You get to drink the apple juice and then have a pretty vase for your home. Okay, I'm going to sand off just a couple of these here and then I'll show you what it's looking like. Now, if you sand off a little spot that has too much, like I did right here, you just take a little paint and touch it up. Really easy fix. So you don't have to stress if it, the sandpaper gets somewhere where you didn't want it to go. Okay. And then just keep on sanding all the way around. And it sands off pretty easy, especially if you use a pretty coarse grit. Carolyn, thanks for joining. Second time watching. Well, I'm glad you're back. <laughs> I will be on again Saturday. Um, I think I'm at 4 o'clock. I'm doing another, I'm doing a, like a little special event with some other crafters. So I think 4 o'clock is my time slot. I will post something on my page. We're doing some spring crafts on Saturday. Oh, 
Okay. Let's get, now it does kind of make a mess. So you just kind of wipe it with a wipey or a paper towel. Look at that. See how those leaves sink it up there where you can see it? Those leaves are popping out. Too cute. And then if I see little spots here and there, I just take my paintbrush and touch it up. Really easy. You might like it where there's more sanded off, but if there's a little spot between the leaves, just touch it up just like that. See, this one got kind of out of hand. We're going to fix that one. Really easy fix. And then once that dries, if you need to touch it up a little bit, you can. There we go. Look at that. Too cute. We're going to make it even better. Martinelli's. Yes. Martine Martinelli's apple juice. Let me stick that right. Let me put it right here. As people are hopping on, maybe they can see it. You can screenshot it if you need a picture of it. Okay, so now we're going to take, I have this pretty ribbon. This is a jute ribbon. They had all different ones. I ordered it from Amazon. I, if I can find the link, because I've had it for a while, there was a bag of them that had all kinds of pretty jute ribbons in it. I will put the link on my page on the video description if I can find it. Now we're just going to wrap that around. Now I have other options. If you don't have a ribbon like this, you can use any ribbon you want. Um, I'm going to get the back of the bottle here. Or you can use jute rope. I'm going to show you a couple that I just wrapped with jute rope. I'm just going to put a little bead of hot glue to get my ribbon started here. And you can use whatever kind is your style. If you don't like the jute ribbon, use a colorful ribbon. Now I wanted to try to be as get get it as straight as I can on the bottle. That's the tricky part. I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue at the top and the bottom because this is open. There's holes. So I'm just putting right at the top and right at the bottom and it's not going to move. And then wrap it around your bottle. Okay, to the end. So I'm just going to cut it and then overlap it just a little bit. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, and we'll hot glue the end down. And hot glue our seam together right there. And then see what that's looking like. Look how cute that is. I love it. This could go any way. It could go boho type decor theme. It could go farmhouse, traditional. You can make it your own. Okay, now we're going to use... Um, some jute rope and we're going to wrap right up here at the top where the cap goes. Now I have some that I painted the caps too that I'll show you in just a minute if you stick with me. Okay so now back where my seam is that's where I'm going to start my jute rope in the back. I'm going to put a little squirt of hot glue and then stick that jute rope on there and let that dry. That is going to be gorgeous. Thanks Carolyn repurposed apple juice bottle. <laughs> it's amazing the things you can repurpose. Okay, now I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, wrap a couple times, and then keep going as I work my way up. And then I'll get to the top and then I'll probably go back down to make sure I fill in all the cracks. Now these little bitty bottles I got at Dollar General, and then with the other one I'm going to show you, I got at Walmart. Oops, I need to put some glue on the front, not just the back, to hold it on. Get up on this edge. <laughs> 
It's wanting to slip off on me here. Let's use my other hand. There we go. Just like that. What kind of paint did you use? Dolores, I used um, Waverly chalk paint. So any kind of chalk paint you could use. I used the plaster color. Okay. Now we're going to keep wrapping. Now I'm going to put some hot glue in all these little cracks that I see where the jute rope is not touching and wrap it around there and fill in all those spaces. There we go. Just like that. Where's my seam? Because I want to end in the back where my seam is at. Let's put some hot glue around the front here. And then we're going to glue it and cut it in the back. I like all my seams to be in the same spot. How cute is that little vase? Adorable. See those leaf, the little leaf pattern popping out? That is so cute. Now we can put some greenery. I'll show you in a minute. We're going to put some flowers and stuff in this. If you painted the cap, you could use it, not with the jute rope on it, but I'll show you one that I painted the cap and you can use it for a little storage container too. Now. Here's the one I found at Walmart. I was so excited. I found a huge one at Walmart. When I saw this one, it reminded me of this craft, and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to make one. So I brought home this thing of apple juice. It did not last long because it's so good. I went ahead and painted it, three coats of the chalk paint, and we are going to sand the leaves off so you can see. The leaf pattern on this one is even better than the small ones. It has more texture to it. So I'm going to take my sandpaper and the leaves are bigger so it's a little easier to sand them off. Now this one's going to make a pretty base because it's bigger for one and this leaf pattern is just really pretty. Let's grab another piece of sandpaper here. You sand off as much as you want or as little as you want. That's probably really loud on the microphone. Let's move up here a little ways. Okay, let's turn that around so you can see that. Look at that one. Oh my goodness, that one is gorgeous. Now this um, bottle of apple juice at Walmart was um, $5. So kind of pricey. For apple juice, uh, but it's delicious, and then you get a base out of it too. So five dollars is not expensive then. Because I know you can buy like the other brands for two or three dollars for a big jug of apple juice, but this doesn't have any. I'm like selling this apple juice too for this company. <laughs> It doesn't have any preservatives in it. <laughs> okay, there's that one. Look at that, so pretty. The way those stand out. And it does, it has more texture. Love this so much, I bet you could use the small ones to put taper candles in, yes. That would be cute. I have, um, it's kind of a big opening, but if you have like at a resale shop, little candelabras and you can twist the candle holder off of it and pop that, I have some, pop it right on top of there and then stick a tapered candle in there. That's a great idea. Okay, there's that one. Let me see, I have two more leaves and then we're gonna, Dress this one up a little bit too. Let's see how we're doing on time. We are good. We're good. I usually am done before my time is up. Most of the time. I tend to go kind of fast. Came in late. How did you get the leaves on the container? Ethel, it is a glass bottle that do you see those leaves on there? And you they don't stand out, but when you paint it, 
and then you sand this off, they just pop right out. Let me move that where you can see it. Martinelli's apple juice. I started to say applesauce. I may have said that at some point during this video. <laughs> Oh, I missed it. I'm going to Walmart. <laughs> yes, that's where I found this at, was Walmart. Okay, I'm going to wipe it with my wipey and then get rid of some of this mess here so I don't get it all over and let you look at that. Look how pretty that is. Gorgeous. Okay, and so inexpensive. Now we're going to use this ribbon this time. I like this one. It has the cream edging. Look how pretty that's going to look on there. We're going to glue that one right in the middle around it. Oh, you just got rid of one of these bottles, ginger rats. <laughs> Next time you'll have, you won't get rid of it now. <laughs> okay, now let's glue this on. And try to get it straight. This is a bigger bottle and it's a wider band right here. So you could use a wider ribbon. You can use jute rope, which I will show you that, like I said. Let's get it in the middle here. And then we'll start gluing. Okay, let that edge dry. Aw, thanks Elaine. Okay. I'm going to turn it this way so I can see what I'm doing and try to get it as straight as I can here. Now I'm not going to put glue all the way around the edge on this one. I'm going to go a little ways and then put some glue and then keep working my way around in case I have to shift it a little bit. It's a little bit bigger and if it's not if it's pretty crooked, that will drive me crazy. Like that, I just saw that. It needed to be shifted over. Okay, adding to my grocery order for sure. <laughs> They're gonna be sold out of this Martinelli's apple juice. Yes, when I saw this big one, I was so excited. I had never, I don't know why, I just never saw them before. Gotten the little ones lots of times. Okay, we're to the end. And wait till you see when I put some flowers and greenery in this, how cute it is. So cute. Cut it off straight across and then glue down your seam. Look at that, adorable, love it. Okay, now I'm gonna wrap the top too with some jute rope. You could double the ribbon, yes, I thought about that. You could put a double layer in there for sure. Okay, so let's see, this jute rope, I might need my, well, I don't know if I want the bigger jute rope or not. Nope, I'll use the skinny little jute rope. Where's my seam? I'll try to go fast because this is a bigger area to cover. So you don't have to watch me wrap jute rope for 10 minutes. <laughs> now I'm just trying to get it next to each other as best I can. I'm squeeze it together. Hello from Virginia, Gail. Happy to see you live. Aw, thanks, Gail. Thanks for joining. This is a, this is an apple juice bottle <laughs> that I am repurposing. Okay, now we're gonna go, where is my seam again? In the back, I'm gonna go over this lip. There's a lip here. And start wrapping around the top of the lip. So there's going to be a little bit of a space, a little white space in there, but I think that's going to be cute. Let's 
put some glue in the front so it doesn't slip off the front. And wrap it or keep wrapping it around. Now I did put, like I was playing with it a little bit, a little piece of the ribbon around the top. You could do that too. You don't have to put the jute rope around the top. Okay, last little bit. Get around there. I'm always looking for vases to put cut flowers in. Yes, this would make, this would be gorgeous for that. Okay, let's cut it around the back here. Glue it and then cut it. Yep, there's my seam. I wanted to make sure I was lined up in the back. Now if you go back and you want to add more jute rope, you can. If you want to make it a little thicker, too cute. Where did my paper towel go? I lost it. So look at that. It's adorable. I love it. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Look at that leaf pattern popping out. And then the jute, the natural jute rope on there with that cream color. Just gorgeous. Okay, so I'll show you a few of the different ones I have and then we'll put some greenery and flowers in them. So I have this one and then this one we just made. So we have those two. Look how cute those are. Adorable. And then I have this one I painted white last year and I wrapped it in jute rope around the middle and then look what I did with the lid. Painted it black and I found these really cute handles from Hobby Lobby and I put a handle on it. So that's super cute. And that can make a cute little container to put something in. So there's that one. And then I painted one the moss green and then wrapped it in jute rope. So there's that one. Look at that one. That one's really cute too. I love the green with that natural jute rope. And then I did one with the handle in green too last year. So these are or two years ago. I can't remember. It's been a while. So those are the ones that I made before with that jute rope around the middle. And then today's. So too cute. I hope that inspires you. I'll have to look at bottles different now when you see them, how you could repurpose them. Love the green. Love it. Aw, thanks. Oh, there's my Aunt Terry out there. And the green with the handle. You think that one was pretty, wasn't it? Put that black candle on there. Too cute. Adorable. Okay, let's put some flowers in it. So I have some different things here to show you. And you can see which one you like the best. I couldn't decide which one I liked. I'm not going to take tags off of it yet. But this is, if you just put a sprig of greenery, look how cute that would be with just some sprigs of greenery. I love it. That one's cute. <laughs> so greenery. And then I have, I think the peonies are my favorite. So I'm going to save those for last. But I like them all. This I got at Dollar General the other day. It was $5 for this bunch of flowers. But that one's kind of pretty if you want a little taller. That looks pretty with that pretty pink on there. I like that one. So that one's, and this one kind of flows over the, dra they droop, the flowers droop. So that one looks good. I couldn't decide. I like them all. This came from um, Dollar General also, this grass. Now that one is cute too and it has little pink petals like on the grass there. That one is cute. I like that one too. So that one came from Dollar General. So that's that one. And then the peonies. These I think are Walmart. I don't know. I like them all. I cannot decide. You just put some pretty peonies in there. Look at that one. Too cute. I don't know. I can't decide. I like them all. <laughs> I think the green looks better. So you liked the greenery. The greenery was pretty. I liked it. 
Let's see. You always. Aw, thanks, Lisa. Peonies, Martha. I know. They just, I don't know. You just switch it out for the season. So this would be a good summer, I guess spring and summer. Then you could do the greenery another time. You could switch them out through the year. I love them all. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope this inspires you. This, I'll hold this up one last time if you want to screenshot it so you know what kind of apple juice it is. So that's what I use to make the little one and the big one. The big one is the same kind. This one came from Walmart is where I found it. And the little ones I found at Dollar General. So that's that. And then I just painted it, sand it off where the leaves are at. And then you just decorate it however you want to make it fit your style. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you all that sprinkled. We do have another crafter on Craft Around the Clock. After me, I had to write it down. It's a little bit longer. Creative Designs and DIY Blueberry Hill. So she is on after me. So if you want to check out another craft on Craft Around the Clock, the link is in the description of my video. So you can just click on that link and it's free to everyone. You can go over there and check that out. And thank you for joining me, and I will be back on for sure Saturday. Um, I might be back on tomorrow because we don't have school tomorrow, so we'll see. I'll see you all next time. Have a good night. Bye.